Good morning, welcome to the vlog. So we are walking right now. Um, in the last vlog I mentioned our town does something called Oktoberfest. A lot of places do something called that, like the OK, like instead of OC. Um, a lot of people do like name things that, but we are walking over right now because there's a parade this morning and then they have like booths and stuff. We went last night for some rides. Are those all cats? Oh my gosh, those were the ones from last night. We walked back last night after dark and there's only like a hundred black cats. Not a hundred, but it seems like it. This is probably the highest freaking dog to all these bog. Five million cats. Yeah. Oh, they're cute. They're looking at us like they literally hate us. But I'm like, oh, they're cute. And one of them's like... <laughs> um, so anyway, we walked back last night to after dark. <laughs> And the dogs, like, and all the fences were barking at us, and I was, like, booking it, trying to get home, but, you know, I'm scared of, like, virtually everything, so, anyway, would never walk like that if Manny wasn't with me. But, so, yeah, we're walking over there this morning for the parade. Um, it starts at 10. I forgot my watch. That's great. I don't really need it, but I like to have it. Yeah, I won't get my steps. Shoot. I got my steps yesterday. Um, but, anyway, so... Yeah, we're gonna get a coffee first, I think. And then have the parade, and then they have booths set up. I haven't even known to really say what I'm trying to say because the cat's distracted me. Um, look, there's more. Oh, those are cute. They're little tiny ones. Why are there a hundred cats in our town? Like, that's no exaggeration. There's so many cats here. Aw. <laughs> They're so cute. There's little ones over there, too. There was little ones back there too, the black ones, but anyway, so there's booths set up with like different boutiques and stuff, so I wanted to check that out. Um, one of my friends has a boutique, and so I want to check hers out, so yeah, anyway, we're heading down there. Walking around the booths. I want to look at this one at some point. All right, we are walking home right now. Um, it feels definitely better walking home than it did right out there in the middle of the sun. It was really cool this morning, and then literally about the time the parade started, it started warming up a lot. It's just like the sun. It was just a little bit cloudy. I think it would feel a lot better. The sun's just really warm. Um, definitely better than it was at one point, but it definitely doesn't feel like October for this Midwestern <laughs> girl. It definitely feels like summer to me, but anyway, we are uh, just walking home. I've actually really enjoyed walking the past couple days. We haven't really walked around here. I don't know if you remember New Mexico vlogs, we walked a lot because they had sidewalks. <laughs> Makes it a little easier. I was saying in yesterday's vlog how there aren't here or where I grew up is the same way. Like you just kind of have to walk on the road and it's a little bit harder to do that. So, um, so anyway, yeah, we're walking home. Today's Saturday. I can't believe it's already Saturday. That's really weird because we left for Gateway last Sunday and it's almost been a week. Can you believe that? It's like time flies so fast. That's what I said when we go to England. Time it's, flies so fast. Yeah, it flies so fast. When you say time flies, that's insinuating. It means fast. <laughs> well, it flies fast. I mean, you can fly slow or you can fly fast. It's flying fast. If you get an airplane, the airplane can go yeah, slow. You wouldn't say time's flying so slowly. Well, no, but it's just when reiterating. When you say time flies, my arm is literally you're saying long, that so. means it's fast. So anyway, time flies really fast. Oh um, <laughs> and yeah, I hope we see those little cats again. They were so cute. That's why I, I wanted like to go this way. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty.
just getting ready for tomorrow. Um, I mean, I've been ready since literally Monday. That's what's so crazy about leading worship and that kind of, like being in ministry, like you know, going like corporate um, worship and stuff. Is like as soon as sun one Sunday's over, you have to immediately start getting ready for the next one. So I've been ready all week, but just kind of running over some transitions last minute. I always like to remind myself how I want to transition just so that practice goes smoothly on um, Sunday mornings, which really it's not practice. We practice um, at home. <laughs> and then when we get together on Sunday mornings, we really just run through um, is what it needs to be. Um, your practice time, if you're on a worship team, Take my advice, your practice time should not happen um, only when you get together. Your practice time should happen prior to that. That way when you do get together, it goes smoothly. But, um, yeah, just kind of running through just some things. I like to run over just transitions, beginnings, and things like that. Just to remind myself how I wanted to go into something or, you know, sometimes I'll play things throughout the week and then I'll be like, oh, that sounded cool, but then I don't remember it. You know, so I'm just trying to... I just always try to make sure that I run on Saturdays, run through just anything and sometimes even make a note if it's something that I think I'll forget as far as the transition goes. We have a really good pad player um, and she transitions a lot of our stuff for us. I love the way that sounds. That's my favorite way to do a transition is just to have her come in with a really full pad and just have some um, like atmosphere, you know, moments. But um, yeah, anyway. I'm just getting ready for tomorrow. I have to wash my hair tonight and I have to shower and do all kinds of things. I cleaned the house today. I feel so much better. Manny's washing some clothes right now or maybe sheets. I'm not sure which one, but we needed to do a load of laundry for clothes and um, our sheets needed to be washed. So um, I know he's doing that right now. So yeah, it smells amazing in here. We've got lots of nice scents going and um, I love days at home when it's just clean and fresh and relaxing. All right, I have wet hair. And I'm picking out tomorrow's outfit. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I've been picking my face, you know, the usual. But yeah, I'm going to go drink some water because I have not had enough water today. And I need to go drink some. And, oh, my closet fell apart as well. I have a thing like shoes go in and stuff and it completely broke. And shoes are everywhere and stuff is everywhere. I had a basket sitting on top of it. That's everywhere. And do you think I'm going to clean it tonight? I'll work on that tomorrow. I can't handle it tonight. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I am just straightening my hair for tomorrow. I'm going to wear it straight tomorrow. And whatever I'm going to do with my hair, I like to start um, the night before if my hair is freshly washed, which it is today. Um, like if I've just washed it, I like to do it the night before because first of all, I think my hair has to be done a couple of times before it like actually smooths out. So I'll do it tonight and then I'll like do it again in the morning basically. I have really wild hair and I always tell you guys like I have really thick, really frizzy hair. But also um, because it's really hard to style when it's freshly washed. When it's just like really clean and really poofy. It takes a while even at a short length. So um, I've always liked to do my hair the night before. That way I don't have to do as much in the morning. I always feel more up to it. I'm more of a night person than a morning person. So anyway, I'm styling my hair and um, I'm going to be getting it redone or done again soon because I'm going platinum. Um, so it's going to be totally white. We're going to get it done again um, before our trip at the end of the month. So I'm not exactly sure when, but probably before that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you next time.